It is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, and it's AM 1160 WCCS 101.1 FM. So we were talking baseball a while back with Derek Martin, uh, the general manager of the Altoona Curve, and Nathan Bowen, who is the director of group sales with the Curve and on their broadcast team. And uh, the gentlemen are back with us again today. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you back with us this morning. Thanks for having us back. We love Indiana. And, uh, well, there's a specific reason why we have you here today, and that's because coming up this Saturday, a very special event, which has really gotten the attention of Indiana County in in past years. And uh, here it comes again, a chance to sing the national anthem. Nathan, I know this is uh, pretty exciting for you. It's always exciting to have the tryouts here in Indiana, and you guys have done such a great job of helping us here. This will be our third year uh, at the Indiana Mall and Sherry over with the mall as well it has been so accommodating for us, opening up everything a little bit early and, and helping us set up a, a stage in the middle so we can have uh, some judges from you guys as well there to kind of determine uh, who will be singing the national anthem. We also do God Bless America every game at our ballpark, which is unique at the minor league level. So even if you don't get selected to sing the national anthem, you may be asked to come and sing a live version of God Bless America as well. I remember a year or so ago um, being at a Curve game, and uh, I had been there at the auditions and seen uh, a, a number of people who had who had tried out, and it happened to be that uh, our own Andrew Moore from right here in Indiana uh, was one of the people who sang that day at the audition, and there he was singing the national anthem, and the whole family was there, and it was such a great event. And one of the things I recall about it is that after the... After he had done the national anthem, the curve players came up out of the dugout, and they all wanted to shake his hand. Uh, you know uh, what a great event that was, and to to see how the national anthem performance and done by one of our own local guys touches guys from you know they're from other countries. I mean they're from from all over America and beyond, uh, and and but that's such a special moment. It is a, a very unique experience. Not only do you get to sing the anthem, uh, you're up on the video board during it um, with a rotating series of shots of, of either the players and the flag as well. And you're down on the field pregame, which is unique as well. You get a chance to kind of interact a little bit with the players and the, the other kids are down there from the Field of Dreams teams, which a lot of times come from this area as well. So you really get a chance to to see the players in a situation where – even in Pittsburgh, they come out of the, the center field wall. They don't have as much interaction with the, the actual team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So it's coming up this Saturday at the Indiana Mall. What do folks need to know about this? They can uh, head over there. They can sign up. Uh, registration will start at 9, and it will go from 9 until 10 a.m. And the earlier you get there, the sooner you'll be able to, to go up and, and sing. And then from 10 a.m. up until noon or till we run out of uh, people trying to try out to to sing both. Uh, We'll be listening to all the auditions. Um, The judges will be there, here from Renda. Uh, A couple of you guys will be out there to kind of help us out as we go through the process. And you can really, you don't necessarily just have to sing it. You can bring, we've had people that uh, brought brass instruments and played it. Uh, We have groups that come out, like whole choirs from schools or church groups that come out, quartets, it's really open to just any way that you want to do it. We've had electric guitars as well, and and it's always interesting for us as well if there's a way we can can get kind of a unique group out to do it. We even had a group last year that came out, and they signed the National Anthem along with someone else who was performing it at the same time. Oh, yeah, how about that? How about that? People are going to want to know things like that. Do I need to bring my own accompanist? Do I need to bring a tape? Uh, how am I going to, to pull this off? It, it really is wide open, isn't it? Yeah, anything that that you want to do, we're willing to listen to it, and, and then we'll go through the, the process. And usually it takes about a week and a half or two weeks for us to compile everything from both tryouts, and then we'll go back through and we'll contact all the people that try out and let them know, and we'll go through the process of selecting a date. Because, like I said, between God Bless America and the National Anthem, 70 games, we have 140 spots to fill so it's a lot of spots to fill absolutely absolutely dmar Derek martin how are you spring training begins next week how about that pitchers and catchers report on the 14th valentine's day and uh the rest of the the players report and uh, uh as the general manager of the curve of course you're looking forward to the start of spring training and 
you know, we're, we're thinking pirates, pitchers and catchers, uh, but the whole system has to come alive here. Now is the time that I, my talks with the pirates get more frequent. <laughs> so yeah. it's, uh, as, as we need, I'll probably head down uh, for a pro- long weekend to a week, probably mm-hmm. mid-March, uh, to kind of get the, because we ask a lot of the players whenever they come to Altoona, so it's getting those relationships started. That's one of the things I wanted to talk to uh, you about, um, as uh, this is going to be your first season as a general manager of the Curve, but you've been here before That's uh, with the Altoona Curve for a lot of years. When these guys come from wherever it is that they come from, and, you know, different levels of baseball, different areas of America and of the world, they have to assimilate themselves into a completely unfamiliar place. Uh, most of them have never been to Altoona. You'll have guys that were on the team last year, but this is their first trip in. And, you know, we don't think about it, but, you know, you've got to find living arrangements. You have to make uh, laundry arrangements, find out what the restaurants are. And uh, I don't, you know, some of these guys I'm sure are going to room together. But there are a lot of logistical things that uh, you and, and, and the staff are going to have to manage for these guys. Yes. And uh, Rob Egan, who I... Uh who I took over for has uh, set that up very well. Uh, so it's continuing those relationships uh, with um, some of the landlords that own the student housing. That mm-hmm. Fortunately, we have Penn State Altoona right there, and they're not in session whenever we're in session. So that, yeah. so that does help out. The Altoona Curve Booster Club uh, is a huge part uh, with the transportation and helping set up the housing. One of the great things about watching Altoona Curve baseball, uh, and, and Nathan, you've been a part of this as well, is uh, I, I love watching, oddly enough, I love watching when the rainstorm comes because it's like the press box, um, the concession stands everywhere. People come flying from everywhere to get that tarp pulled across the field. You know, uh, I don't know if, if Rob bequeathed you his big rubber boots uh Derek but uh you, you got everybody springs into action there and it, it, there might even be a spring training for the tarp pullers for the Altoona curve well I know that I had to reintroduce myself to the treadmill just so I was in tarp pool condition <laughs> I didn't want to pull a hamstring up. yeah so. I mean that that's that's a heavy thing and and it, you know there's it's almost like watching a choreographed dance when the, when the tarp has to come out we did uh, get a blower last year, so that helps a lot. We can we can put it underneath the side, and it'll it'll blow the tarp up, so it'll blow the water off of all four sides evenly, and so it makes it a lot yeah. easier to to dump it because when it's it's full of water, it, it's really really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but they're putting that together, of course. Uh, the People's Gas Field, uh, they'll be getting that into shape, working on uh, uh, new ticket offices and uh, and other things that you're that you're doing there to. Uh, make a very special season for the Altoona Curve. And and a whole big part of that is coming up this Saturday at the Indiana Mall. And that is the National Anthem Auditions, uh, God Bless America. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, we see talent. We know that there's talent here in Indiana County. We see it all the time in our various concert settings. Uh, and, uh, and and I know that you can't wait to see who's going to turn out on Saturday to, to take part in this. We're really excited about coming back to Indiana. The first year we did it, and we partnered with you guys and, again, Sherry over at the mall. We were kind of unsure of what the turnout would be like. We had almost uh, 100 people show up um, and really took a number of them uh, for both the anthem and God Bless America. And it's always interesting to see the different people and their different different spins on it as well. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, we're glad that you came by to visit with us today. Folks can turn out. You said, uh, Nathan, you said beginning at 9 o'clock? 9 a.m. registration will run from 9 to 10, and then we will do the actual anthem tryouts from 10 a.m. until noon. Beautiful. It's not too long before everybody's going to be singing that song and get it stuck in their head. Everybody loves curved baseball. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure Al Tuna is practicing the moves as well. Yep. He's getting ready out in the wall. So. Love, love Al Tuna. Thank you, boys. Love the Altoona Curve. It is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank. It's AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM.